Hi, I'm Lenore, singer and a voice teacher. You know, as a singer, sometimes I find myself in a need for a good singing session. You know, just sing, have fun, not thinking too much about improving my voice. Just sing like they do in karaoke, you know. But I don't always want to leave my house and go to a karaoke party. Sometimes I can't go to a karaoke party. So how about some karaoke apps? I checked out 12 karaoke apps, took a good look at them and reviewed them. You can check that below. I'm going to tell you about my four favorite ones, but just right off the bat, researching this was a lot more satisfying than the singing app review that I made. I ended up finding those four apps that I actually really love. I'm going to use all of them and I give two of them four stars and two of them five stars. Now before you think or say anything, no, I'm not paid to say anything today yet because I have not contacted the apps that I'm going to recommend to you today on purpose. I reviewed them first so you can get my honest opinion. Before I show you all the apps, let me just tell you what I personally, as a singer and a vocal coach, am looking for in a good karaoke app. I'm looking for three things basically. Number one, it should offer something YouTube doesn't. On YouTube you can find any song on earth, you can find a karaoke version of that song and you can sing as much as you want for free. So an app should give me something extra that YouTube doesn't. Number two, it has to be fun. Simple as that. If it's not entertaining, it's not karaoke. And if you don't agree, then you have a very different idea of karaoke than I do. Number three, it should be practice friendly. As in, I can use the app not just to sing for fun, but also to actually practice my songs. That means two things. A, you have to be able to pause forward and rewind as you sing the song. I know it sounds like a given, but it's really not. Just check the review and you'll see. Recording is a plus, not a must, but a plus because it's a good practice tool. And B, it would be super amazing if I could change the key of the song. Because sometimes, so many times, I want to sing a song or a student wants to sing a song and the original key does not suit the voice. It's not comfortable to sing in that key. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. So as we go along, I'm going to show you some apps that can do this for us. All right, let's get into the four top apps I've selected. I'll tell you what I loved about them and also point out their limitations. Let's start at the bottom of the list. Number four, App Companist. This one I like because it does what it does very well, but it's not for everyone. Let me show you. So first of all, I downloaded this app because I heard about it as being a karaoke app that gives you the playback and you can sing along to a song with it. But I didn't know it had also vocal exercise. So that's vocal exercises, like a whole library of them. So that was a nice surprise. It's actually a good build up in terms of range and I will add it in the future when I have time to my singing app review. So that, that's a nice perk. Now when I go to the playlist, I can select a song and I'm going to select a classical song um, Haydn Röslein by Schubert because I really like it and I'm just going to, I can play it. Um, that's the accompaniment and I can scroll forward, rewind, I can pause, that's fantastic. I can change the tempo here, um, I'll, just, I'll just link a, a screenshot of that for you later. I can change the tempo, I can select a key, that's what I told you that is really really valuable. You can snip up like uh, parts of the song which you know when you think about it is really good if you need uh, if you need it for an audition then you can just select a clip from the song. Um, you can do a bunch of stuff here. You can also just ask to hear the melody Now it's playing the melody for me, so that's a nice practice tool as well. If I want to learn the melody, it will show me the melody. That's great. Um, so yeah, that's great. Let, let's let me just try. It. Let's just try. It. So that's nice. Um, let's say you know I want to sing it a little bit lower because maybe I'm not a soprano. I happen to be a soprano. But maybe I'm not. Maybe I want to sing it a bit lower. So I just, 
Instead of G major, I selected three half steps down, that's a, um, E major, sorry. Let's try that. Scroll back to the beginning. Oh, sorry, I have to I have to start immediately with the Sein Knab ein Rösenheim stehen, Rösenheim auf der Heide. So, super handy. You can just select any key that you want that suits your voice. So, I love that. I love the fact that you can make uh, custom playlists here as well. Um, they have, when you check out their library, you do have quite a bit. You have quite a, ver a vast variety of, of pieces. Um, they are all classical and musical theater. So that's important to know. That's going to, you know, be the first limitation basically of this app. It's not for you if you want to sing pop or rock songs. You don't have those almost at all or at all in this app. So this is for classical music and for musical theater. The second limitation here is that whereas it gives you the opportunity to transpose pieces, which is amazing, in the classical and the musical theater style, especially in the opera style, it's not very common or even acceptable to change the key of the song. You don't do that because usually in opera specifically and mostly in musical theater, the, com the composer chooses the key of the song um, matching a specific voice type. So for example, if you want to sing uh, Queen of the Night, uh, it would not be as impressive if you if you took it down and you sang it a uh, fifth lower. So it's not really relevant. Uh, it will be relevant. It will be very relevant and very helpful if you want to change the key in a chamber music uh, song like the Schubert song that I just sang or a French song, chanson or something like that. Then that would be amazing. So if this is your niche, if you're doing that and you're doing that a lot, this app will be fantastic. If you want just accompaniment for your scales, then you can use that app as well. Another limitation is that the free version of this app only contains 10 songs. That's not a lot. Now, I don't know if I can really complain because it's a really good app. It has really good features, so you can't really blame them for wanting to charge for the really cool features that they have that not all of the apps have. What's also limiting about app companies is that it gives you the playback, but it does not give you the lyrics. So you will have to have your phone playing your playback and your lyrics printed out or something, or memorized, you know, that, that's not a bad idea. If you want to learn a song, especially if you're in classical music, eventually you're going to have to stand up on stage and sing it by heart. So just learn it by heart. What's good about it is that you can make it work for a low cost. They have a low cost option, which is only a few bucks per month, and then you can choose six songs. Now, if you know what songs you, you want to work on, that's fantastic. You choose your six songs, and the next month you can choose six more. And I recommend repeating a song anyway. I don't recommend just picking a new song every week if you're, if you're going to improve your voice. So for practice purposes, this is really good. That was App Companies. Now I'm moving on to number three, Magic Sing. This is a more traditional karaoke, just singing pop and rock songs. And the main thing I love about this one is again, the transposing feature. Let me show you. So I selected a song I know is not good for my voice because it's too low. Um, it's Angels by Robbie Williams. I love the song. I'm just gonna press play here. Um, it gives me a, a, an option to jump. Um, sit and wait so low there's an angel mm -hmm. it shows me the text and everything that's great so that's not very comfortable to sing I'm gonna press on the on the setting thing here at the, at the bottom corner and I see here I can play with the balance of the playback I can um, like turn the music like the playback I suppose up and down. I can also hear the melody, that's also good. I can turn the mic gain also up and down, that's great. It moves back down too quickly, I don't like that. But echo, you can play around with the echo, that's great. But then, on the right, you have 
The tempo, you can play around with the tempo and make it faster or slower. That's fantastic. Really cool. Can make fun of the song if I want to. Um, and I can also just play around with the key. So now they have an option here to just manually select the key or to just press on the man slash woman. And by the way, when I, when I got the app, in the beginning, they asked me if I'm a man or a woman, and I was like, why do you need to know? Apparently, that's why. They have sort of like custom transposition. They have what they would call a male key and a female key. Now, male and females have different type of voice types, and they sing in different keys. It's not going to be really custom, but it's worth a shot. Let's just, yeah, let's just change it from... Yeah, let's change from male to female, and let's see what happens now when I play it. Let's, um... When we gray and old... That's nice, okay, I can do that. Cause I've been told... That's comfortable. That salvation... I'm curious to see how the chorus will go. Wings unfold... Now, if I want to uh, scroll forward, like I just want to forward, I can do that, but it just skips bar by bar. I'm giving you the first limitation right now. Um, you cannot really scroll, you know, uh, like by swiping, swiping your finger, and you can scroll by skipping 15 seconds, for example, like you do with, with some videos. Um, you have to skip bar by bar. It is a bit... Um, slow. It's a bit slow. <laughs> Maybe a bit too slow if you're, for example, in a singing lesson then you and your singing teacher are just waiting for you to, to do this. But I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna go for it. <clears throat> and through it all she offers me protection A lot of love and affection I can do that, but let me see if I can just Take it down one half step and then, mm hmm. And then I said, I'm loving angels instead, and through it, oh, she offers me protection. A lot of love. That, that works, that's fine. Good, so that's how it works. So this is a really good opportunity for anyone out there to just take any song they want and sing it, yeah? And you should not feel any kind of pressure to sing a certain song in the key that the original singer sang it in because you bet that they don't do that, right? Robbie Williams didn't pick that key because someone told him to. He picked that key because that is a good key for his voice. So that's exactly what you should be doing. And now for the rest of the limitations. Unfortunately, there is one big one. The free version only offers three songs per day, and then you only get like snippets of the songs, so you can hear 30 seconds or 40 seconds from the song, uh, and you can sing to that as well, but you can't get whole songs after those three songs. After you have sung your three free songs uh, on that day, you can get snippets of 30 seconds of each song. One can argue that you can work with that, but it's not. No, you can't really use 30 seconds from a song, I don't think. I get why you want money for that transposition and like the key change and the, and the tempo change and all of the cool settings you have there. You deserve it, I, I, I agree. But three songs, only three songs per day. It's not a lot. So let's say I like this app, and I do, and I want to pay them. Um, so they don't really give a free trial. And that would make it like a no-brainer for me. So I, I think you deserve money for this feature, and I would want to pay it. But you also really limited me in the free version. And it's like, and, and the... The whole thing of the really slow forward and rewind thing. In my personal feeling, it, it doesn't make me pay you right away. 
I'm just saying, it makes me think twice whether I want to upgrade or not. Having said that, I do think that those features are very valuable and are worth paying for on principle. In practice, you will see later on that there is a slight, slightly better option and maybe we don't need to pay Magic Sing after all. Moving on to number two, Smule. Now, a lot of you know this one, and maybe you also expected it to be first place because it is so cool, and it's so famous and so popular, not for a bad reason, too. So let's explore this one. So in the app, you have a huge library of pop, rock, musical theater, Disney songs, like really many styles. I think in the free version, you can choose four styles. That still leaves you with a lot of songs. And I'm just going to choose Reflection, just because I feel like singing Reflection. And I can uh, choose the solo, duet, or group. Uh, not all of them are included in the free version. I'll talk about that a little bit in a moment. I'm just going to start. They do recommend... Um, plugging in the headphones. I'm not going to do that right now because I'm not going to really use the recording, but you do get a recording, okay? You get a recording, you can record your audio, and you can also record the video. You can turn on and off the video um, according to what you want. And they, um, yeah, they recommend to plug in the headphones for best uh, results. Basically, all apps which record you recommend that, and I understand why. So now I see myself... They, they chose this really uh, cool, um, <laughs> uh, how do they call that? <laughs> they chose a really good fil uh, cool filter, nah. they chose a really cool filter here where I see like uh, pink sparkles. <laughs> a little bit ironic because Reflection is all about how she is not as girly as people would expect her to be. Um, anyway, maybe I can make a screenshot of that later. Okay, now I see myself and I can just click start. Counts down from three. And I can hear playback. Good quality playback. And I can see the lyrics. Look at me. I will never pass for a perfect bride. Or a perfect daughter, can it be? I'm not meant to play this part. Now I see, and I can also scroll. Oh, sorry, hold on. Yeah. Tap video to resume. Yeah, so I could pause it while using the video. Something I forgot almost completely about is that while you are using video, you cannot scroll uh, and like rewind and forward in the song. That's a downside for, so that, that's a downside for me, but you can uh, pause it. If you only use your audio, you can also scroll, rewind and forward and just skip to where you want. Now, um, I decided to quit in the middle um, and then they asked me if I want to keep recording, if I want to save early so maybe I can save a part of the song or I can quit and I can delete the, the recording. <laughs> the songs here in the app um, are arranged by individuals, uh, so not employees of the app but they can also be arranged by just users which I think is super cool. And then you can also follow those people who arrange the songs, so that's also nice. In general, Smule is a whole social network um, in and of itself. You can share your recordings there, you can uh, comment on others, uh, other posts and like them, the, the whole shebang. You can join groups. And one of the best things about this app is that it is so high level and so popular that the singers most of them who become popular are really good level singers. And almost all of the celebrity singers also participate in this app. And that is awesome. So you have someone like, for example, Shawn Mendes just, just singing there and you can join them. And the way those celebrity singers participate in this app is in what 
this app offers as duets. And duets means that someone has pre-recorded themselves singing and they just posted it on the app and people can just choose, like I chose the, this playback with no one singing in it, I can choose a playback with someone singing and recorded also with their video on if they choose to. And then I sing on top of their recording. Now here's the cool part. It can be Shawn Mendes, yeah? It can be Beyonce, it can be anyone that has decided to sing a song, record it, and let you, if you want, sing with them. They might not hear you, which is a, you know, actually an advantage because sometimes you don't want them to hear you. Sometimes you just want to do this for yourself, and if you want to publish that, you can post it on the app, but you can get to sing with the stars literally. I've chosen to sing For Good from the musical Wicked with no other than the one and only Kirsten Chenoweth who was the, the original cast on Broadway. Now, of course, she's my goddess. I worship her and now I see her face to face. She's singing at me. I'm singing at her and we're gonna sing her duet. Let's just go for it. Uh, I'm gonna skip to the part when we sing together just for fun. Yep, yep, a little bit, yes, something like that. Because I knew you, I have been changed for good. And just to clear the air, I ask forgiveness for the things I've done you blame me for. None of it seems to matter anymore. The world one of mine. I forgot the lyrics, so I'm gonna do that again. And none of it seems to matter anymore. Like a ship blown from its night by the wind of the sea. Like a sea drum by so on. That was so much fun. <laughs> so, <laughs> One of the greatest limitations, the first thing you see when you hit the paywall, is actually one of the strengths of this app. So you cannot sing a solo song in the free version. You get one, I got the app right off the bat, I got one solo song because they want to like, I guess, give me a teaser of what I'm missing if I'm, if I'm not paying them. So I got one solo song and then I cannot sing any more solo songs. I can only choose pre-recorded versions with someone else, like my beloved Kirsting here, and sing on top of their um, recording. So if you ask me, that's more fun. <laughs> so like what can be more fun than singing a duet with someone else and you have the perk of keeping it to yourself They don't even hear you or see you and you can also choose to share that with them and the rest of the world But you know what I mean? So I think that's actually That's great. I wouldn't have you know uh, on basis um, um, based on that Based on that, I would not need to upgrade. For me, doing duets all my life, I'm fine with that. So you can totally do the free version, sing duets for, you know, until the cows come home. If you get the membership, then you can do your own solos and you can also create those duets yourself and post them out there for other people to join you. And then you can also use this app as sort of a promotion tool and a funnel because right after you finish singing a song, you get sort of like a pop-up from the person who posted the, the recording asking them to go and subscribe or like go and check out something on, on Spotify or whatever. 
About the subscriptions, paid memberships, you can get a yearly subscription for about 50 euros, which if you're gonna use this every single day, and you probably will because it's so much fun, it's not like an astronomical amount of money, but you know, each, each person will make their own uh, decision about that. Sometimes there are promotions, so I just checked the website one day and I realized that I can get the membership for a whole year for like 30 euros and it was like, yeah, thank you. So now I have the membership for 30 euros uh, for the whole year and I'm happy. One limitation of this app is that there are no transpositions. You cannot change the key of the playback um, of the song. So if the, song orig the song's original key is not good for your voice, tough. Another downside here is that it's uh, way too much fun. So you're gonna basically put your life on hold and only do this now. So that's a problem. But yeah, another limitation, as I said before, is that you cannot forward and rewind if you're using the audio. And that, that's just too bad. It's just a lot less handy if you sing a song and you record it with video, then you just have to do it from, from start to finish. You can pause, take a break, you know, clear your throat or whatever, but you can't like repeat stuff. Like you can't practice with the video version. Otherwise I gave Smoo five stars because they <laughs> deserved five stars. It's a, it's a fantastic app. Now we are at number one, my top favorite karaoke app, and that is Carafun. This is everything I'm looking for in an app to use myself and for my students, and I've already recommended it to a bunch. Let me just show you. I chose uh, Your Song by Elton John, and if I pr press on the settings here, I can turn on the lead vocal, that's nice, yeah. I can turn on the lead vocal, I can turn it down, or I can turn it off. So if I want to hear the singer singing, they have their own singers here in this app, then I can listen to it, I can learn the song that way. If I just want karaoke, I just want to sing myself, I turn them off, okay? I can change the key to any key I want, and I can change the tempo. That's fantastic. I can scroll, I can forward and rewind, um, I can pause, I can play, I can do anything I want. Now, in songs where they are backing vocals as well, yeah, like back singers, you will have those in there as well and you will be able to turn them um, up, down, on and off as well. So let's give it a shot. It's a little bit funny. That's very low. It's a little bit funny. And then, hope you don't mind, hope you don't mind. It's a little bit high. So this is now my key. Great. Now I get the chance to play around with the key. Let's see. Um, mm, 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 hmm. Maybe I'm just going to take it one step down. So two, basically minus two. Every, every minus or plus gives you a half a step, either up or down. I chose two half steps down. Let's try that. It's also a little bit slow. It's a little bit funny. That's nice. This feeling inside. So what I like about this too is that I just made this full screen. Let's see if you can see that. I made this full screen and I can change it as I go, as I sing, I can change the key on the left, I can change the tempo on the right, I can turn the lead vocals, I, I suppose when there are back vocals then that will appear as well. I can change that as I sing. That's really cool. If I, um, if I get out of the full screen, then I can also just um, do it here by pressing the settings, I can do anything I want here. Uh, so that's, that's great. Um, let's maybe skip to the, yeah, to the chorus. Everybody, and this is your song. It may be quite simple, but now that it's done. The only thing I would say is that the quality is less than 100%. It could be because it's transposed. Could be. I don't know. 
but it's not as good as in Smule, for example. But it's still, it's still okay. Hope you don't mind. I hope you don't mind that I put down in words. Okay, so let's see. Let's say it's not my best day, and I don't want to reach to that high note. I'm just gonna take it half a step down. This is your song. Might be quite simple, but now that it's done, I hope you don't mind. I hope you don't mind. That's perfectly comfortable. I put down the words. Very, very handy. Anyone can sing anything here. That's fantastic. Okay, so another cool feature here is that you can cue songs. Remember, we talked about extra things that YouTube cannot do. Well, I, actually, I didn't go um, over those, like I didn't spell them out as I went, but I hope that was obvious. Like the, the apps that can transpose, YouTube cannot do that. Smule gives you options to duet with other people and with celebrities. YouTube doesn't do that. So you have in every single app that I chose today, you have something there that YouTube does not offer you, even though you can have a lot of fun with YouTube, you can have more fun with the apps, um, the chosen apps of today. Mm. So here in this app, you can cue the songs, like you can choose song, a song and then another and then another and add them to a list. And then as you go, as you sing, you can also look at the cue and you can change the order of the songs if you want like, okay, the next one I want to be this one and it just auto plays it when you finish the other song. That is fantastic if you want to have a party and just have a karaoke party, like this This is perfect. You just, you just go for it. And now for the limitations, something uh, that is a little bit annoying and I'm sure it's just a bug that they can figure out quite easily and I'll also contact them about it is that if I use the app for a while and then I don't close it, but then I just sort of like go back to it again, sometimes the interface changes and I don't see the settings, the options, the option to play, pause, forward and rewind. I don't see that anymore unless I go to the full screen. So in the full screen, I can still do everything normally, but in the non full screen, suddenly I don't have the settings. That's a bit weird. But it's a nuisance that I can overlook, um, you know, for the benefit of the other things. Another limitation is that they don't give all of the songs for free. So some of the very desirable songs, for example, Love of My Life by uh, Queen, or um, I, I looked for Kiss from a Rose because I wanted something that suits a male voice that I can um, play around with the key. So Kiss from a Rose is also premium only. Now, you know what my stance here on that, they give so much value here just with the fe features that you can basically do anything with any song, key change, um, tempo change, just use it for anything you want. I, I think I understand why they want payment for some things. I get it. So if you want a certain song and it is premium, you're going to have to pay. But if you just want to have fun and you don't need a specific song, then there's a really cool way you can do that. And let me show you what it is. The way I did it, um, it took me a while also to, to figure that out. Um, I just went to Discover on their main menu. They have like the, the low bar there. They have Discover. You click on that and then you go to Playlists. And you just choose Karaoke Classics. And all of a sudden you have most of the songs at the, you know, in the beginning, most of them are actually free and they are all karaoke classics. So you are, you know, you're, you're probably going to know most of them and you can just choose a bunch of songs, create a nice queue and just have a blast. Another limitation of Carafon is that they don't have a yearly subscription. They have a weekly subscription uh, for uh, €7.99 and they have a monthly subscription of uh, 9 dollars Now, if I have to pay them for a whole year €10 Euros per month, I'll end up paying them €120. Euros. That's, not, that's not nothing. Yeah, that's a significant amount of money. However, 
if I just want to have a party, uh, I don't mind paying eight bucks personally. I mean, if you're going to a party, you're probably going to spend at least as much on drinks. If you're going to a karaoke bar, you're going to spend probably more than that just for the entrance fee. So I think that's very fair if you're just going to pay like this one time fee and you're just going to have fun with your friends. But it would be nice to have a yearly subscription for sort of like a um, deal package there. Another thing you should know is that it has a laptop version and the laptop version is only a paid version. You can't really do anything for free. You can download it for free and you can get samples of 30 or 40 seconds per song, but you can't have the whole songs unless you pay them something. And they have there a really cool party deal for I think five euros. So for two days you pay five euros and you can just, you can use the app. So that's it, my four favorite karaoke apps. I'm already using all of those in my daily life, practice and lessons, and I recommend that you all give them a nice look. Thanks for watching. If you have a favorite app or you want to share your experience with karaoke apps, let me know and enjoy singing. Bye.